uh, CSS visibility is a little bit different from display and none property. So we are just going to uh, work on CSS visibility. You can save us this file like always to create a separate file visibility dot html now we can save change the title css visibility visibility we can remove all this from the style tag just to get right of this all from body so let's just use let's just create another div here once again like the previous class class is equal to you can say a and the value is a you can duplicate a b so the value for this is b and this one is c this one is also called class c so you can just call all of them for example dot a comma dot b comma just comma here dot c so this called group selector here i'm just saying uh, the text align should be center something to some basic setting here the text color should be white and the font dash size can be something like 25 px you can save here you can just set dot a the background for this something like uh, red let's just duplicate this to save the time dot a dot b and dot c orange color and let's just select here a green color you can save this and preview on the browser now you can see a b c that we have here with the different background color so uh, let's just give a width and height for them so i'm just going to use the width and height let's use from here width can be something like 150 px and the height also like 150 px and you can just use the line height to uh, center the text not horizontally but vertically 150 px you can save and refresh now you can see we have just three element so in our last class we have discussed about inline uh, display property and uh, display block display inline display inline bug display none so once again let's just review display if you are putting the display block so there will not be any changes you can see because div elements are by default display block if you are setting this to inline you can save and refresh it is just vertically the display is changed to horizontally but the width and height is not working dash block inside this the width and height is working but the position is changed to horizontally so i'm just going to apply the display none property on the orange color it means the b here on the center one so let's just use display none property to the orange one save and refresh so you can see the orange one is hidden and the place is also hidden let's just use the visibility property here visibility here you can see just hidden the first value that we have applied here you can see the orange color or the orange box it's hidden but we have the place here so this is the difference between display none and display uh, display none between visibility hidden property you can see visibility hidden i'm just going to cut this from here once let's just use display none property here none save and refresh so you can see the box is just hiding and there is no place it means the box with the its place both of them are hiding but if you are using here display instead of display visibility property and the value is hidden so the value it's hidden the box is hidden but we have the place here so this is the difference so the second value for this is that you can make 
something if it is hidden you can make it visible like this so inside visibility property we have visible and hidden value so i hope you are understand so like always we are going to end this video here so from the next class i'll come back i will discuss about width and height property so be in touch have a nice time and see